is approximately 14 kilometres from Stanthorpe and is one of many villages named after battlefields in World War I where many soldiers came to settle under the Pikedale Settlement Scheme. Roger Willis, former president of the Amiens Legacy Centre, will give us a little bit more information about what the Amiens Legacy Centre is all about and how they do their bit to maintain history. Now, Roger, you um, can you just give us some information about uh, the Amiens Legacy Centre here? And we'll just start off with this particular structure here. We have some public works of art, and this one obviously is a, a sculpture. It's done in natural granite from the Amiens area. This is a huge slab of granite that goes two metres into the ground, so it's not going to blow over. And it depicts a soldier settler family. Behind every good man is a good woman. Absolutely. Rolling her eyes. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, and uh, who designed this? Who was the architect or the... the... Uh, local architect, Gabriel Trebeco. Okay. And he he uh, works in stone and, and other media. And uh, he used, you know, diamond saws to cut the granite because it's very hard. Right, wonderful. So he laboured, he had the mask on and all that sort of stuff, and he worked really hard for a couple of weeks and produced this. Okay, Can you just explain to us here, Roger, exactly what we've got here with the carriage? Well... A hundred years ago, more or less, the Prince of Wales uh, visited Amiens and he got off a railway carriage like this uh, right here. This is where the, uh, the terminus of the railway was. And as far as we can figure out, he must have set foot right here on the ground. And so this, um, this carriage is a, a 1909 Queensland rail carriage that we've refurbished. Okay. It's the right era that the Prince would have uh, seen and used. And this was Prince Edward? Prince Edward, yes. yes. He, 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 he later on uh, became king and then abdicated after he married Mrs Simpson. So he's got quite a story that yes. a lot of people are familiar yes. with. He and married he, for love. Now, he also got the uh, military cross, didn't he? He, he did. He did, okay. Yeah, right, okay. And you guys have completely uh, replicated uh, that actual carriage from that time, is that correct? Well, it's it's not the same carriage, obviously, sure. but it's the right vintage. Sure, And yeah. uh, we, it was a carriage on the Brisbane Suburban Line, a second-class carriage, so okay. uh, we didn't refurbish in, in that way because that just had seats all the way along. So we've turned it in a carriage fit for a prince. And how long has it taken you to get to this point, to put this all this carriage together? Oh, many years. Many years, yeah. yeah. The carriage was in a very poor state. It was gifted to us by the Southern Down Steam Railway. Okay. And it was sitting in their rail yard, uh, sort of out in the open, and the roof had gone, and one of the side uh, walls had was sort of missing, and it was just full of junk. But uh, we, we took the task of, in hand, and we re refurbished it. Wonderful. 